Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Wait, hold on. Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Look at how beautiful that looks. Guys, if you haven't noticed, I finally got my ring light and I'm super excited because that means that I could start filming in the night. I could film at any time of the day I want. I don't have to worry about natural lighting, open the window, get everything right. It's just all here and it's so convenient. I love it so much. Anyway, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, subscribe because I post a new video every single week. So for today's video, we're going to be reacting to your assumptions about me. So I haven't looked at any of these, which means you're going to be getting my genuine reaction. So what I did was ask on YOLO because I noticed that more people leave a comment when it's anonymous because they don't want them to know it's you. I mean, I would if it was anonymous, so I get it. So yeah, we're just going to open up YOLO and we're going to see what people People said you're really quiet but once you're comfortable you can be yourself um I mean isn't everyone kind of like that I know there's a lot of people that are very like loud and outgoing right away but there are some people where you have to get to know them for you to be comfortable I feel like that was the old me usually I'm comfortable with strangers right away unless you give me a reason not to so unless you make me uncomfortable then I'm already going to be myself and I'm going to be outgoing, so. I guess it's half true, but only if you make me feel uncomfortable. I thought you were 5'8". Well, you're wrong because I'm 5'9", so. You have many friends slash acquaintances, but only a handful of close friends. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, for sure there are a lot of people that I can talk to, but there are only a handful of people that I can really really honestly trust and I could go for when I need support or an opinion or advice but again I feel like that's everyone too I definitely am the kind of person where I think the more the merrier so I like to meet a lot of people I like to reach out to a lot of people talk to a lot of people and just like widen my circle ish but of course there is that little small circle that I will always think of as way closer than everybody else you're very independent no <laughs> I am very dependent when it comes to materialistic things like when it comes to a house i most definitely do not want to move out i'm very dependent on my parents because i'm too scared to live on my own so when it comes to taking care of myself physically i wouldn't say i'm independent but i am independent in a way where i can handle my own emotional situations does that make sense like like i can take care of myself emotionally and i definitely don't feel the need to tell all of my problems to someone because I've learned a lot from the past so I feel like I can give my own advice and I already know what to do. It's very rare when I come to someone for advice because I like to figure out things on my own. I have a feeling you act differently based on who you're with. No, not at all. Like, if anything, it's the complete opposite. I'm pretty much the exact same person no matter who I'm with. It's just whether or not I'm either quieter or louder but it's either you get quiet Jackie or loud Jackie, you don't get a different Jackie. It honestly just depends on what mood I am. I could be with the most comfortable person ever, but if I'm not in a good mood, then I'm not in a good mood. I won't really hide it or fake it. I won't change who I am. And if I'm in a good mood, then I'm in a good mood. So it really just depends what mood I'm in, not who I'm with. You have really good grades. I do have all A's, but it's not something to really flex on because they're really easy classes. I'm going to a community college right now and my business is major, so there you go. It's really easy to have A's, you know? So I'm definitely not a scholar, but I do get my work in on time and do everything I need to do for a class to get the highest possible grade I could. You low-key sen- what? Oh, you low-key look sensitive on the outside, but strong on the inside. Mmm, I'm gonna have to think about this one. <laughs> sensitive on the outside. Oh, but strong on the inside. I would say I'm sensitive on the outside and sensitive on the inside. I'm not that strong. I would say I'm strong as in like I can go through things and I can understand things, but I'm very sensitive when it comes to other people attacking me. Like if someone were to yell at me, I will cry. If I were to yell at someone, I will cry. I'm a Pisces, that's a water sign, so I'm very emotional most of the time. I think I am sensitive in a way where I cry a lot. Or I think it just depends on what it is because there's some things that I'm very strong on and there's other things that I'm very sensitive on. Usually when people insult me, it doesn't really get to me that much. There are times where I can like think about something and overthink and get a little sensitive. Um, I would just say I'm overall a sensitive person and I'm strong when I need to be. 
You're a square. Thank you. No, really, I remember this one time in high school, someone came up to me and they're like, hey, you know you're a square? I don't remember who said that, but I remember someone said that to me and I did not know what it meant. I was like, oh, what does that mean? And they were like, nothing, you're just a square. But I didn't know what that meant and now I know what it means. So yes, I am a square. You hate quarantine because you miss socializing. Also, I love you. I love you too and yeah, completely, 100%. I miss socializing so much. I'm the kind of person that loves to be around people, especially in classrooms. That was the best because you didn't have to talk to them, but if you wanted to, you could. And small talk was like socially acceptable because it was a classroom. So you could just ask for a pencil or you could be like, oh, do you know what's going on in this class? Me neither. And you could like bond over that. And we don't really get that anymore. And it's not just the socializing. It's also the fact that there's not many big things open anymore. Like I also miss the fair. I miss going to concerts. <sighs> I missed the Harry Styles concert. I was gonna go last year, but it got canceled, so. Yeah, but I miss all those big things too. You want to move to another state slash country. Girl, you are way off, not at all. I wanna stay in this county, I never wanna leave. Maybe travel, but even then I'm not big on travel. Moving on the other hand, never, I will, n I, I don't wanna move. If I could look into the future and I saw future me, in a different state or country. I wouldn't believe it, it would blow my mind. Like, I just really like LA. I know LA is not that great, but to me it's home and I just don't wanna leave. In high school, everybody was talking about which college they wanted to go to. Everybody was saying, oh, I wanna go to New York, I wanna go to Texas, Arizona. And I was over there like, I just wanna stay home. Like, yeah, dorming might be fun, but I love being home where I feel local and comfortable and I know where everything's at. In other words, I don't like change. Hi. Hi. You smoke. No. I respect people that smoke. None of my business, you do you. But personally, I just don't smoke. I wonder who said that though. You obviously don't know me then. <laughs> you and your BF are super happy. Yeah, we are. We just hit our four and a half year and we're super happy. We're going strong still. And I really want you guys to get to know him. So I promise you, we're gonna make more videos together. You want to do YouTube as a job. Hmm, that's an interesting one. No, <laughs> I mean, if it gets to that point, sure. If I'm if I start getting money for my videos, why not? I don't want it as a job. That's not my goal, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did become my job. For now, this is more just like a side thing. It's something to help me become more creative, something to motivate me, somewhere where I could put all my ideas into YouTube. In other words, it's just a hobby, but I wouldn't mind if it became a profession. Probably not though. You've taken a bath with your dog. I mean, does bathing them count? Because if it does, then yeah. I always thought you were artsy. Well, that is very true. I've always been artsy since I was little. I've always liked to draw and to paint, write stories, make movies, make videos. It's really crazy because I don't know how much potential I have until I put work into it. Like, I remember when I was taking my art class, we had to paint something. In order for us to get familiar with painting, because this was like a basic class, our professor told us to copy of famous painting, which is not original, but it can kind of get you a little familiar with tools that you can use or ways you can do shadows. It can just give you basically inspiration. So I chose this Picasso painting and while I was painting it, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna make this look good. Like. I'm not that good of an artist. But then I finished and it was actually really good and I was really proud of myself. So sometimes I doubt myself or I don't think I'm that good, but I know in my heart that I am artsy and I can do it, I just need to believe in myself. You give good advice, but you can't take your own advice. I don't feel exposed because I feel like that's everybody. I know you guys are like that too. That's why a trick that I do is when I have a problem, I pretend that my friend is the one that has a problem. And I pretend to give my friend advice when really I'm just giving myself advice. Like what would you want your friend to do? You would want them to take your advice. So that's what I try to do. I try to see myself as my own best friend. I don't want to not take my own advice if I would want a friend to take my advice. You're more productive at night than in the morning. For sure, that's why I wanted to get my ring light because I feel more inspired in the nighttime. Usually during the day, I'm kind of like not in the mood to do anything. I just want to lay all day and 
do something very slow but usually when I'm on the go it's at night so that's why I got this ring light because now I can film in the night and I feel really good about it I'm in a good mood I'm not grouchy I'm not tired and I just feel more inspired to do more things especially with homework I will do homework at like 1 30 in the morning and it'll feel better than doing it at like 11 p.m or even in the afternoon at 3 p.m you like being blonde guys i would have never known in a million years that i would like being blonde literally just a year ago before quarantine i told myself i was never gonna go blonde i loved my hair so much i loved being brunette i thought that if i was blonde it just would not look good but i love being blonde and i don't even think i want to go back of course i'm gonna go back because it's my natural hair but i don't know i just love blonde so much and i recently just touched it up and I just feel like it pops out more like I don't feel as dull as I did when I was a brunette I still like my brown hair but it was ready for a change and I think blonde was the right decision you probably cry a lot I don't know I literally said that I was sensitive in the beginning of this video but yeah you're right great assumption I do cry a lot thank you someone who knows me would know that but if you don't know me then I'm really curious to know why you would make that assumption about me I don't know if you were like analyzing me and thought yeah I think she cries a lot or if you're just doing a wild guess but yeah I'm a crybaby deep talks I'll cry you yell at me I'll cry romantic touching movies I'll cry talking about how much I love you I'll cry all right, so here's the last one. You get annoyed easily, but don't show it and try to be nice on the outside. Okay, this one is a very specific one. I am actually the kind of person that doesn't get annoyed easily. It takes a lot for me to get annoyed. If you're a kid, that's different. There's just something about kids where I'm like, mm, like I can't, like I get annoyed easily with kids. But if you're my age, or older or younger as long as you're not a child I will not get annoyed that's why I hate when I talk to people and they're like oh my gosh I'm so sorry am I annoying you or am I annoying I'm like no like I love people who talk a lot I love loud outgoing people I love people that are dorks and clumsy people that are awkward and shy I don't get annoyed at all it takes a lot for me to be annoyed and a lot for me to be like angry at you that's only if you're doing something intentionally bad so for example, if this girl is talking a lot and she's just rambling, that will not annoy me. If I'm trying to do something else and they're like distracting me or they keep talking and I can't focus, I'm not gonna get annoyed. I'll just feel like awkward, you know what I mean? Like I'll feel bad. I wouldn't know what to say to you. I'd just be like, oh, excuse me, can you like stop talking? Because I need to do something but not an annoyed way, just in a very awkward, I feel bad kind of way. So yeah, I don't get annoyed easily, but like, Wait, what did you say? You get, oh, you get annoyed easily, but don't show it. Oh, okay, I thought it said you don't get annoyed easily. Okay, never mind, then you're wrong. Uh, I don't get annoyed easily. But yeah, that was it, guys. Those were all of your assumptions. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below if you have another assumption about me, and then maybe I'll comment back, or I'll do a part two. So if you want to be in the part two, I will do another YOLO. So here's my Snapchat, that way you know when i'm going to ask that question again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy the new setup with the light thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye